If you take a close look at this plant, which is called Kalankoe pumala, you'll see that it has this kind of chalky lavender look, which I particularly love. I think for people who are really into succulents, you really love the different colors because they're not like super green. They come in, you know, a verdigious kind of bluish hue, white hue, and in this case, this is a little bit more lavender. You'll actually see that some of the flowers have just finished flowering on this particular plant. And you'll notice kind of the growth of this plant is really small and compact, but could definitely be a bushy plant. I've had this growing in my home now for probably three and a half years and I have this in my southwest facing window and the reason for that is because these plants are native to Madagascar and are totally used to being out in kind of direct sunlight and this white kind of chalky hue to these leaves actually helps bounce the light back to kind of protect the leaf's um, chlorophyll and centers and, and, and chlorophyll centers in there so that the plant doesn't get damaged. Um, if you have it actually out in direct sunlight, you'll notice that some of the leaves will start to kind of redden or get that little purplish lavender hue. And some of the older leaves like this one right here also kind of redden, particularly as they start to get to their end of life as far as um, as far as leaves go. So you can actually take those out if you want, if you, if you find those to be unsightly but I kind of just leave them on until they're kind of brown and crispy. As far as humidity goes, you don't want to be giving this plant a ton of humidity. It's part of the reason why I have these in my southwest facing windows. They, they get a tremendous amount of light. There's not a lot of humidity. The air is very dry there and that is very akin to their particular habitat. Watering, I water this in general like once a week and then in the winter months because there's not a lot of intense sunlight in the winter months, at least in my windows, um, I, I water it probably once every two weeks. Fertilizer, going with a basic uh, cacti or succulent fertilizer like a 277, 247, 347, anything along those realms um, will actually be fine for this. You could do it on monthly all the way to like semi-annual basis because um, Colin Coey don't need a tremendous amount of fertilizer in order to grow and to be healthy. Resiliency, these are pretty resilient when it comes to pests, although I have noticed mealybugs like to take residence up on the leaves of the Kalenkoe. So that's something to kind of keep an eye out for, especially because mealybugs can hide very easily in these plants that have that kind of whitish hue, especially because mealybugs kind of look a little bit more camouflaged on plants like this. Otherwise, I think this is a great plant to have. It's relatively compact, gives a little bit of color and a, a different color, in fact, to the, the green foliage varieties. And if you have south or southern or weather, western exposures, then this would be a great plant for you.